Testing people who came into contact with the French woman found to be carrying the coronavirus after leaving quarantine have all tested negative to the illness, according to reports yesterday. It also stated that a further two people within the hotel quarantine system who had been in touch with her have developed the virus and are in isolation. With the authorities questioning the hotel operation where she served her two-week isolation, the checks continue. Three new cases reported yesterday, including a British engineer returning from Qatar, an American embassy employee also from Qatar, and a Sudanese student arriving from the UAE. This, as eight former patients, were released, having recovered and tested fully negative. Smog is raising its ugly head around Thailand, the capital seeing the worst of it, but as air is still, so Pattaya, Nakhon Ratchasima, Chiang Mai and the like are reporting high levels, and another good reason to wear those masks. With rain predicted from today onwards for most areas, the chances are that it will clear, albeit temporarily. When a Thai husband turned up to drink at his wife's house, and demanded his conjugal rights. She refused him and fled to a neighbour's house in the village. The drunk's response, we're told, was to burn the house down. With everything turned to ash, he was arrested. In his statement, he claimed the fire made him feel satisfied. His boat's obviously rocked in a different way to most, and there isn't much chance of a reconciliation with the wife. Meanwhile at home, and those without visa extensions, have just today and tomorrow to comply by applying to immigration. Otherwise, they face being on overstays and, along with that, fines. The immigration post is on our Facebook page, Fabulous 103 FM, and if it applies to you, it's worth reading. Six fake immigration cops were nabbed by the real deal this week. They'd been dressed up in uniforms and been fleecing people under the guise of being proper police. They weren't, of course, and they were reported and duly nabbed. It's hoped they'll rot behind bars for a long while. As many who were conned, had little in the way of money. Ideally, always ask any policeman who approaches you on a serious issue to show you his or her ID and take a photograph of it. We've done that in 103 FM before and seen them fleeing down the stairs. And an 18-year-old woman has been arrested in Banglamung, charged with running a Ponzi scheme that netted close to 10 million baht from some 500 so-called investors. Shacked up in a less than salubrious room, she was taken for questioning after a warrant was issued for her arrest. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing, and the Met Office promising that the rain front has reached the Thai border and so we can expect rain today for sure, with highs of 30 dropping down to a chilly 24. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.